I'm not a lawyer, but I just read the court docs regarding DJ Envy and this real estate scam. And I'm gonna break it down for you. The lawsuit was filed by Anthony Barone and Anthony Martini. Barone and Martini are suing Jennifer and Cesar Pena, as well as DJ Envy and two companies that I'm gonna tell you about in the video. Let's start with the first company. According to the lawsuit, Martini agreed to purchase a 25% stake in a 50-unit apartment complex called the Taylor Apartments. Martini's understanding was that his investment of $300,000 would be to cover any overages and operating costs until all of the units in the apartment complex were sold or rented. Still sometime in 2019, Anthony Barone had lunch with DJ Envy and Caesar. At this lunch, according to the lawsuit, DJ Envy and Caesar began promoting the Taylor Apartments to Barone. Barone was interested in potentially investing. The lawsuit claims that DJ Envy and Caesar give a tour of one of their joint projects to Barone. They're telling Barone how successful the project has been. After that tour, Barone is all in. He agrees to invest $500,000 in the Taylor Apartments with the understanding that his money would be used to cover construction costs and operating costs until all of the units were sold or rented. The promise was that the project would be completed in early 2021 and would generate a net profit of over $900,000 a year. Barone sends his $500,000 and soon after, Caesar tells him because of COVID, there are now construction delays. Over a year and a half passes and Caesar tells Barone that construction was finally beginning around this same time. Caesar is telling Martini that, quote, guys are there working nonstop. The foundation was done and plumbing was finishing. By this point, Caesar introduces another project to both Martini and Barone. It's called Flip to Dow and it's a crypto investment opportunity that would allow people to use crypto and credit cards to own shares of real estate. Sees shares with them a pitch deck. It says that Flip to Dow is being led by a specific group of people and DJ Envy was included in that group of people. After some back and forth, Barone wires over $300,000 as an investment into Flip to Dow. About two weeks later, Caesar goes on The Breakfast Club with DJ Envy. DJ Envy speaks about the many seminars he's hosted with Caesar and how so many people often ask how they can invest with DJ Envy and Caesar. Caesar goes into Flip to Dow and tells the audience that if they wanna invest, this is the way to do it. So fast forward to May of 2023, a man named Tony the Closer Robinson made some posts on Instagram alleging that DJ Envy and the Pinas were running a $13 million Ponzi scheme. Barone sees the post and calls DJ Envy to ask him about it. DJ Envy denied all involvement with Flip to Dow. So then Barone starts calling all of the other members from that pitch deck and all of them denied involvement with Flip to Dow. So Barone demands all of his money that he invested into the Taylor Apartments and into Flip to Dow. But according to this lawsuit, the money has yet to be returned. Oh, and as of June, 2023, this is the current condition of the Taylor apartment project. Okay, so the causes of action in this lawsuit are violation of rights to inspect books and records, violation of the Consumer Fraud Acts, and this next cause of action is aiding and abetting, and it's specifically against DJ Envy and some other unknown people. And it's because Barone and Martini allege that DJ Envy used his public likeness and influence to give the impression of legitimacy when it comes to the Pinas and these businesses. And he got people to invest in a real estate scam that he promoted. So this is just one of the lawsuits that's in connection to the Pinas in this whole real estate thing. But DJ Envy has filed a lawsuit against Tony the Closer Robinson because he says he defamed and slandered his name. DJ Envy also spoke out on The Breakfast Club this morning. Now Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about Caesar. Nah, they, they basically said I was privy to it, and that wasn't true. Be careful where you put your money.